So once you've had your uh, database set up, you want the first thing you want to do next is to create your view file so that when you go to your um, uh, task page, you can uh, see something. I've had something, I've been practicing, so I've had something right there, but I refreshed it. So you should see a blank page. And the reason you see a blank page is because uh, in our roots, if we go to tasks, or if we, under our URI, if we go under um, tasks, and we have the get method, which is the default method of HTTP. Then we go to tasks.index root, which is our task controller add index. So that's this file right here. We go to our controllers and then task controller and task controller index. So here, if we say um, return view, and we're going to create a folder called tasks. And inside that folder, we're going to create a file called index or index.blade.php, um, which I have already done here. So I'm just going to redo that. So if I delete this and under views, I go to create a new folder called tasks. And inside this folder, I'm going to create a new file and call it index.blade.php. If I save that and if I for example say return if I just say hi and I go to our browser and refresh I should see hi so what we want to do here is we want to create our um, our form for uh, adding new tasks into the database so we're going to create a, create a base uh, template base HTML template, I'll give it a title of to-do list app. And we're going to uh, use Bootstrap for our formatting. So uh, I'm going to add in the Bootstrap right here. So Bootstrap, Bootstrap CSS, CDN. Then I'm also going to add the JavaScript uh, Bootstrap C uh, CDN. And then I'm going to go to um, Bootstrap website. You can go to um, Bootstrap CDN, Google it. First link that shows up. And I'm going to add in the HTML. Copy that. Paste it right here. Go to JavaScript. Copy this. Paste this right here. And then I'm going to uh, do some basic column uh, layout using Bootstrap. So I'm going to first create a container. And inside the container, I'm going to create a uh, smaller um, container or a smaller width container so I can make the to-do uh, to list app horizontally a little bit narrow. So I'm going to create um, a column MD offset to column MD8. So it's going to be an eight column grid layout with uh, two columns um, spacing on the sides. So the first thing I'm going to create is um, a row, a div row with eight on each one tag. That says to do list. Then I'm going to create another row. And here I will add the form for entering the new tasks into the database. So create a form. And we're going to create a input um, type text. and a input type submit. So the text, um, I'm going to add a class of form control to make it full width. And I'm going to put that inside a column width of nine columns. Copy and paste that in there. 
and I'm going to put the submit button on another uh, columned um, div tag. So column md3, copy this, paste it inside there. And for this, I'm going to give it a class of button, button primary, and button block. So the button primary gives it the color, the button class gives it the shape, and the button block makes it full width or the full three column width. If I go back, refresh. So we have our submit button. I'm going to change that submit to uh, save um, add task. So value here is going to be add task. And um, we have to uh, submit this form somewhere. So I'm going to um, explain how we're going to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is create, um, which we ha already have. Create is going to be part of our index, so we don't need to have a create. But in order to store a task, we're going to use tasks.store, which is our post method. And it's under task controller store. So that we're going to use the root name task.store. So here we're going to as form action, we're going to create a uh, blade template root tasks.store. I believe that was correct. Tasks.store. Method is going to be post, and we have to add in our cross-site uh, request forgery um, field. So C uh, S R F field, so that um, the blade, uh, so that the blade engine can run the form prop, uh, the form entries properly. And right now, if we uh, submit this, nothing should happen, but it should go to that page. So if we go over here and uh, refresh the page, add um, five groceries, add tasks. It should go to tasks with a post method, but right now we don't we don't have anything here. So um, we're going to uh, now create the function for uh, submitting the data into the database. So to do that, we're going to go to a task controller and we're going to um, go to task controller at store, which is the store method. So we're going to go down and this is where we have it here. So we're going to uh, create a new task um, So we're going to create a new task class. So task is equal to uh, new task and if we refresh the page we should get an error because the app task is the class is not found so we have to um, add in the class at the top so use app task we're basically uh, pointing it to the task model we have in the app folder right here so if we go back here now, if we refresh this page, it should appear uh, all right, so that's good. And then we're going to um, grab the form data that we got. So it's going to be a uh, request. So task name is going to be, wait, I think, our database was not created properly. So we have to first create our database. So in our database, we're, we're going to have a task um, table. And inside the task table, we're going to have table um, string name. So we're going to have three columns and task, four columns and task, uh, task database table. Uh, the first column is ID, which auto increments. The next one is the task name, which is we're uh, simply going to be named name and the timestamps column, which is going to be created at and updated at. So if we first 
um, create the database, we're going to uh, run PHP artisan migrate. It should successfully create the database table. So we're under Laravel to do list five. Uh, we have four tables now. And if we go to task table, go to structures, we have name, type, sorry, ID, name, created at, and updated at. So next, we come back to our text editor and we go to our task controller. And our task name column is going to be uh, request and request it should be the name of the input value so if we go back to our index .php, um, let's exit this one and in our input we have our name here we're going to uh, say task name and we go back to our controller, it should be request task name. And we're also going to validate this. So to do that, so we also need to validate this. So to do that, we're going to um, go up here and type in this validate and request array. So it's going to be a task name and I'm going to change this to new task name just to make it a little bit more clear new task name new task name new task name and we're going to um, make it uh, required minimum of five characters and a maximum of 255 characters. And then we're going to uh, create task save. So if you go back to our browser, test this out, we are going to um, see unexpected task variable on task controller line 42 task controller line 42 so we forgot a semicolon here so add that in refresh we shouldn't see any errors okay so we are back at the to-do list so if we um if we say this is the second task and add task goes to the task uh, URL with a post method and if we go back to our um, task table we have our first task the second task and if we successfully create uh, and then we want to um, create a redirect to the um, main page so I'm going to say uh, return redirect root tasks.index so if we go back to our to-do list page and let's say uh, buy fish food add task it should come back to this page and if we go back to our table refresh we have another task uh, buy fish food added. 